Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to talk about the transient response and the steady state response, in particular to the example we saw in the last few videos where we have the what we call the RC step function. We have a circuit with a voltage supply, a resistor, a capacitor, and a switch that closes at time equals zero. We're going to assume that at time equals zero, there's some voltage across the capacitor. There's some charge on the capacitor. And we saw that when that's the case, that this is the equation that describes the voltage across the capacitor from time equals zero to infinite time, so to speak, when we reach steady state. What we've been able to do here is identify the V sub S as being the steady state response and the rest of the equation here as being the transient response. The transient response is only active for the first five time constants of the circuit. So we could say that the steady state is equal to the complete response when the time is greater than five time constants. And when the time is less than five time, time constants, we also have the transient response, which is added to the steady state response. So the two together is the response you get during the first five time constants of the circuit. So if we then take a look at what the steady state looks like over a long period of time, the voltage, across the, the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to the voltage of the source. But during the transient state, notice that this is the response of the circuit where we go from the point V minus V of the source, so that's negative voltage, until we get down to the zero voltage. So when we look at this portion of the equation right there, that represents a voltage that goes from V minus V, V is the source, all the way to zero volts. That's the transient state. When we combine the two, then this is what the complete response of the circuit will look like, where the, where the voltage across the capacitor goes from the initial voltage to the steady state voltage. So the transient is often misunderstood. It does indeed look like there's a negative voltage, but what happens is we apply, we apply the source to the circuit and until the, the voltage across the capacitor reaches the voltage of the source, it's in, in essence, we take the steady state and we add a negative voltage to it that eventually goes to zero to get the real complete response of the circuit. So the transient state is only what happens to the circuit over a short period of time, namely the first five time constants. And that's what we mean by the difference between the transient response and the steady state response.